Six starts now. On a day America remembers the legacy of civil rights icon Martin Luther King Jr., dozens march the streets of old downtown Elk Grove calling for an end to racism. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Ty Steele. And I'm Sincere Tonsil in tonight for Nikki Lorenzo. The march comes after a black businesswoman was the target of a racist letter and after reports of racism at Pleasant Grove High School. Fox 40's Doug Johnson is live now in Elk Grove with why organizers took to the streets today. What's going on, Doug? Well, so Siri, this is where that march ended here at the Dream Girls Beauty Salon because this is one of the businesses that was targeted. And the owner of this business is the one that actually organized this event. And she said she did, show, did so to show that not everybody is like the people that wrote that letter to her. One day, With singing and chants setting the, the pace. Comes, it will be ours. It will be Dozens took to the streets of Elk Grove this Martin Luther King Day to march in solidarity. I love the city. We just need to fix it. You know, it's not everyone, but it, it, it's a few people and it's not okay. So. Sherry Wilson owns Dream Girls Salon, a business she says has been the target of several racist attacks. The past few months, she's found a bag full of feces thrown at her door. And even more threatening, a letter filled with racial slurs demanding she get out soon. I was getting attacked. Um, the young girl from Pleasant Grove was getting attacked. That girl also marching today, 12th grader Rachel Francois, told Fox Wardy last week the use of the N-word has become common among other races on her campus. The school district admitting since the beginning of the school year, a noose was thrown into a classroom by a student. That the two girls making racist statements in this now viral video were students at Pleasant Grove High. One of those girls has now been expelled. Elk Grove Unified Superintendent Christopher Hoffman speaking at today's march. You can't hate when you see the humanity of another person. So I'll stop at that. Wilson says what's most frustrating is people are doubting her claims and Francois's. People are saying this is fake news. It's not happening. Instead of people coming together and saying, how do we fix this? They're trying to figure out how to make myself and also the other young girl who came out and spoke into a liar. What do we want? When do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! But these marchers say that behavior is happening here, and it's not okay in Elk Grove or anywhere else. Elk Grove police monitored today's march, but there were no altercations. Wilson says even if she knew who sent that letter to her, she would not hate them. No, and that was Martin Luther King always said. You can't, you can't fight hate with hate. You got to fight hate with love. And the Elk Grove Unified School District will be holding a community meeting tomorrow night to talk about some of these racial issues. And that's going to be at Sheldon High School at 6 p.m. in their auditorium. And uh, a, a district spokesperson actually told me that already they've had 500 people RSVP for that event. Reporting live in Elk Grove tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. An important discussion. Thanks, Doug. 13 siblings.